Morning guys! So for weeks now, I've been really thinking about this challenge and for some reason, I just really want to challenge myself to eat only like bland, unseasoned foods for 24 hours and I thought today would be the perfect day because last weekend, I actually spent with my family. They celebrated Orthodox Easter and you know how it is with the holidays, you just eat a little bit more of like the special foods. So I felt like doing this challenge would be a good way to like reset my palate and get back into like my normal routine and like the stuff that I normally eat. Not that I think there's anything wrong with indulging on the holidays, like that's what the holidays are for, but I just thought this challenge might be fun to watch. So, so if you want to watch me go through this fun challenge, the rules are pretty simple. I'm just not going to put any seasoning in my food, which includes salt. And I also can't eat any food that already has like seasoning in it, like packaged foods, canned foods, bread, can't eat like any chocolate, nothing sweet, which is gonna be pretty hard because I have a pretty big sweet tooth. I eat like a lot of chocolate, like I go through like at least a hundred grams of chocolate every single day, which is not ideal, don't come for me. So those are the rules, I'm about to go make breakfast right now and I'll meet you there. And we're here to make breakfast. I just did a workout. I did like a back and quad focused weighted workout. Did some asymmetric lower body movements, as you can see. If you wanna know more about my workout routine, you can follow me on Instagram or watch my other videos on YouTube. Then I showered, got ready. Here's my little outfit of the day. Wow. It's now almost 10 a.m. and I'm actually really hungry from that workout. So let's go make some breakfast. I feel like breakfast is gonna be the least disgusting of my meals today, so I'm actually kind of looking forward to that one. I'm just gonna make some oatmeal. I just did about 85 grams of oats. Did about 10 grams of unsweetened cocoa powder. Then I mixed that all together, poured some water in, and put it in the microwave for about two minutes, stirring once on the minute. So this is my breakfast. I just put a couple of walnuts on top and I have two apples cut up on the sides here. I'm just gonna do a little taste test for you and then I'm gonna go watch some Kitchen Nightmares. <laughs> so this is just oatmeal, water, and some cocoa powder. Yep, tastes like nothing, but it's dusty and bitter. Yeah, I'll see you for lunch. I just finished breakfast. I'm feeling pretty decently full, so I'm not gonna eat anything else right now. I just put some preparations for lunch going. So I just got a boneless skin on chicken thigh and put that in a pot, skin down with some potatoes, and I'm just gonna let that kind of broil for a couple hours and pray for the best. And now I'm retreating into my room for a couple of hours to do some studying. Two hours later. I've been studying for a few hours now. I got a little hungry in the middle of my study session, so I just had a little snack. Had a plain cucumber and some yogurt. Leave in the comments if that's a weird snack. I feel like it's not because usually I actually like having that snack with a little bit of salt, maybe some other seasoning, kind of like a tzatziki sauce. But like right now, obviously, I just had it plain and I mean, it, was, it wasn't that bad. Now it's just past 2 p.m. and I'm about to have some lunch. So for lunch, like I showed you earlier, I just made like that boneless chicken thigh broiled with some potatoes. I also like broiled a little bit of zucchini and I have a little bit of lemon just to squeeze over top just to give it at least a little bit of flavor so it's not completely disgusting. And then for dessert, I'm gonna eat a small tangerine and a ripe banana. I mean, I am hungry. Like I'm really hungry that breakfast was pretty good but it didn't hold over long uh, I don't know if this looks very appetizing honestly I'm gonna give it a little taste test I never had just like plain chicken thigh honestly okay it's not horrible I mean it's pretty bad but yeah it's pretty bad it does like really bland <laughs> I am gonna eat it and I am Really excited to eat food right now. I'm really hungry. 
I'm gonna just do another time lapse of me eating this. Just finished my lunch. That's really bland, you know. Hopefully, it'll hold me over until dinner. I'm gonna eat my fruit now. I'm not gonna eat the banana on camera until I get at least like 5,000 likes, so. See you later. Shit, I got something on my shirt. So, I just finished my lunch, had my snack. I'm about to go do some more studying, but first, I just wanna talk about this video really quick. I just wanna preface that this video is in no way necessarily healthy way to eat. Before, when I was going through one of my like first fitness phases when I was just kind of getting into health and learning about all the health related things. I kind of fell for some ill advice, I'll be honest. I listened to the people who are on the bandwagon of like, you shouldn't eat any extra salt. So I didn't salt my food for at least a couple months, maybe like a year, probably more honestly. Like it, it took me a long time before I actually started salting my food. Don't ask me why, I, I don't even know. But I do remember that like anytime anybody saw my food, they would always be like, how can you eat that? Like that's so not palatable. Like it was probably disgusting. Like I was eating stuff like just plain rice, just like unsalted plain rice, which I will be eating later today, by the way, but I am fully anticipating it to not be very good. So now that I'm a lot older and in college and I've actually had exams like physiology and pathophysiology, I know how important electrolytes are to your body. Like sodium may be pretty publicly demonized, but it is and is not justified at the same time. You need sodium, like, like you literally need it to survive. It plays a lot of key functions in your organism, which I'll like list over here, over here, because I'm not going to get into that right now. Like sodium, potassium, both of those are very essential electrolytes that you can't live without. It's true that a lot of people in this modern day intake way too much sodium, which is mostly because a lot of people tend to eat out a lot or buy overly processed foods, which are naturally a lot higher in sodium. In part because sodium chloride or table salt is a natural conservative, so it helps that food like be preserved longer have a longer shelf life. All of that digression aside, my point with this is to say that you don't need to like detox your palate or if you overindulge a little bit for a couple of days, eat food that you usually wouldn't eat or in the amounts that you usually wouldn't eat. You definitely don't need to do like a day or even a couple of days where you just like do a juice cleanse or eat any differently than you usually would eat any day. Your body is really not going to change that much over a course of a couple of days. Even if you get a little bit bloated and people will say it's the excess sodium or it's the excess carbs because both of those things attract water. Maybe that's true but your body is just naturally going to flush it out if you just go back to your usual routine. So again, this video is purely for fun. I mean, I'm not really sure how you can classify this as fun, but I was just curious. This is just kind of an experimental video. I thought it would be interesting to watch, if nothing. Yeah, just don't take this as like me giving you advice on how to eat or anything like that. So I'm going to go back to studying now and I'll catch up with you guys later when I have dinner. So it's just past 6 p.m. and I'm already getting pretty hungry. I gotta say that bland lunch was not very substantial, or at least it didn't feel very substantial. So I'm just gonna make like some bland egg fried rice, sort of. So I just got some rice going, about 60 grams of rice, put my water in, put the lid on. After that finished cooking, I added three eggs and let it cook for a little bit longer till the eggs were well done and mix that in with some of the leftover zucchini and this is the final product. So this is my egg fried rice. Obviously it's not fried and I didn't fry it because I didn't use any oil because I just feel like that would be cheating because it's supposed to be bland. But I'm literally salivating because I'm like so hungry. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat this even though I know it's probably not <laughs> it's probably not going to taste that good. I haven't had just bland rice in so long. Oh god. Oh god, this is so bad. Mmm, this is my worst. Oh god. That actually sucks. Holy. Holy cow. I'm gonna do my best to finish this because I'm really hungry. Oh. Mmm. 
not even halfway through this. The first bite I took was like disgusting. And then the next few bites I was like, okay, it's, it's tasting a little bit better. Anyway, it's not as bad. I was so hungry before I started this. And now I feel like, no, I just don't want to eat, you know? Like if I stop now, I'd feel full, but I could eat like so much food. If that makes sense. I guess this is the problem with like not seasoning your food or thinking that like you need to eat bland food to be healthy. You're just not doing yourself a favor. Like you gotta eat palatable foods to feel satiated, honestly. And you're just eating foods like this, you're never gonna feel full. But at the same time, you're gonna feel really full and really disgusting. So I only have a few bites left. This was not a fun day of eating. Like, I did not enjoy my food at all. In fact, it really sucked. I was really hungry, but I never felt like my appetite was satisfied. Would not recommend this challenge to anyone. I'm just gonna finish this up, study a little bit more, and go to sleep. And I can't wait to eat some salt, like, as soon as I wake up. Just salt. Just straight up salt. Bye, guys. The next day. First bite of salted food. <laughs>